We are looking at the transforms of these continuous and periodic functions. And then we want to look at the definitions of uh, uh, definitions, definitions, uh, the unit step functions, the unit step functions uh, is defined, is defined as uh, u t minus a, okay, is equal to set of values is zero when t is what? When t is less a. And it's one when it is greater than a. Okay, let's do some key uh, facts here. Key notes, facts. The Laplace of the unit function of u of t minus a, t minus a, is equal to exponential, okay, minus a x over this. And then if you take this fraction and you do the inverse of that, e of ax over dx, this will give you back uh, uh, the unit step function of t. You just have to look at, okay, what do you have as attachment to the x, which is what? Minus what? Minus, uh, minus a. So the inverse of this will give you back uh, this one, okay? So let's see some applications. Uh, of these uh, key facts here. Okay, look at the first one. Uh, find the Laplace of the um, unit step function shifted by 5. Okay, u t minus 5. Okay, this is very simple. It's going to give you e. What do you have there? The sign is minus 5. That one is done. Then, for the case of this one, we can try to force it to be of the standard form. Okay, I mean to be of this standard form, which will be equal to Laplace of u t minus minus seven. We want to follow the standard rule, and that will be equal to for the standard rule. This will be equal to exponential. Since this is minus minus, and your your value here is minus seven, uh, minus seven. Uh, they put your x there, or the by x. Okay, and that will give you that will give you. A plus sign and that will be equal to uh, exponential minus minus that's seven x by x. So in the not here we see plus if it's plus it's just the plus as the exponent of the exponential. Okay then look at this one. This one is saying that okay move from the what from the right hand side to the left hand side find the inverse of this fraction. This is very simple. This will be equal to what uh, u of t uh, what do you have here? Minus 3. Minus 3. Uh, minus 3. Uh, <laughs> minus 3. So that, that's that on that uh, on that case. And then the last one here, this will also be uh, u of t uh, minus 1, minus 1. So u of t minus 1. So that's that. That, uh, that case. And if you if you take the Laplace of this, you're going to get, get this, uh, this, uh, this function back. If you take Laplace of this also, you get this, uh, this fraction. Okay, so let's go on. Yes. And, that's, and what this means is that it's very simple. When you have a unit step function of uh, u of t minus a, f of t, okay, and that will give us what? Exponential uh, minus what? Minus ax, then times the Laplace of f of. Uh, f of uh, t plus whatever you have here, t plus that. And what that means, I'm going to we're going to expand that one uh, more. Okay. And actually, this one can also be written as what uh, exponential ax, then uh, f of x, f of x, f of x. Uh, and we can write that, or we can also write this as the plus of uh, u over t minus a um, f over t minus a you can open and close here is equal to e minus ax uh, the plus of f of t okay so let's see uh, 
key fat here, key fat, let's see some key notes here. Uh, the inverse, the inverse of uh, minus ax, uh, f of x, will give you a uh, unit step function t minus a. Um, inverse of f of x, f of x, uh, t minus a. Say. Yeah, if you look at the first question, find the Laplace of this. Uh, we're going to apply this uh, this uh, this first one here, this key uh, principle here. Uh, it's very simple, and that will be equal to um, uh, Laplace of uh, Laplace of uh, this question, Laplace of uh, t square uh, u t minus four. Okay, uh, this will be equal to uh, e minus 4x e minus 4x then uh, look at that okay look at this one this first one here then the plus of what the plus of uh, f our f here is t okay so we're going to place it's going to be um we have a uh, uh, t square so it's going to be uh f of uh, it will be f of uh, t uh, plus 4 okay you had whatever you have there t plus 4 so that's why you're going to substitute there so you can see f of what f of t okay plus what plus a okay so this will this will you are substituting for that function f of t plus 4 so and that will be equal to what uh, that will be the plus of t plus 4 the t Anyway, you see t, you put t plus 4 there, and then the square. So that's that's, uh, that's the meaning of that. Okay? And then you can go on and do the uh, finish uh, finish of the work. Uh, Laplace of this, expand this, which will be t squared plus this one times this one, that's 40 times 2, 80, then plus what? Plus 60. Okay? Then this will give us e minus 4x. Uh, Laplace, uh, let's put Laplace of that. So that will be equal to uh, 2 over x3, 2 factorial over f3 plus 8 times 1 factorial over x2, then plus 16 over x. And that will give us uh, e minus 4x. Uh, into bracket uh, 2 factorial is 2 over f3 then plus 8 over x squared plus 16 over x so okay then the second one uh, we have uh, the second one we have uh, Laplace of uh, t of u t minus plus 5 so this is what we have uh, this is very simple uh, we can write this as what because the standard form is what t minus a and this will be equal to what uh, Laplace of that will be equal to Laplace of we can write that Laplace of t and u of t minus minus 5 okay so and that say that we want to something conform to the general rules which is uh, u of t minus a so that's how we have a uh, uh, t, we use step function u, t minus, we want to follow the standard rule minus, minus 5. Okay, so in the next thing to now do now, this will now become a plus of what? I mean, a plus of e minus this uh, on here, minus, we'll start that, and the constant we have here is minus 5, minus 5, then x. Okay, and that will be what? A plus of uh, f of c okay c plus the constant here which is what minus five okay so this uh f of this now will be substituted for what for t your t is what that will be t anyway you see t you just put this one there t plus minus five so we now have we now have uh, e 5x then the plus of what? 
have lots of um, have lots of uh, t minus five, and this will be equal to e five x, and the plus of this will be what the plus of t is one. Don't forget t is having one, okay? And don't forget the plus of t n, the plus of t n is what n factorial over what x n plus one. So that will be one factorial over what x n. Uh, and my n is 1 plus 1, that's 2, then minus this one for the constant. The plus of the constant is, uh, is always that constant over uh, x. And that finish, and that finish uh, that. Okay? That finish that. The only thing I want to add more is just that you must be aware to follow the standard rule, which is t minus. So write in that form, and this is minus 5. Okay? Actually, I've not done any alteration to the question. I just want to conform to this standard rule. Okay, then f of f of t is just that you substitute whatever you have inside here to the uh, to the t uh, function you have here. So do that for that. Okay, and that will be equal to um, to explain that that will be equal to uh, t that f of t that will be t uh, plus the constant here. So that's what we did, and that's what I could substitute for what. For t, okay. So that's that on that uh, on that one.